Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about why Gorilla Tag has like the like why they have a big problem with the new update. And I'm sorry I haven't been posting much and I'm sorry I didn't post about the um update, but really um I don't really have much time anymore, so uh yeah, but let's get started I guess. Hey guys, it's me, um editor glitch. I just wanted to say I could be wrong about everything in this video, so please let me know if I am. But also, no hate to the LGBTQ plus community, and no hate to the Gorilla Tag devs, and no hate to the Gorilla Tag community. This is just for, uh, you know, entertainment purposes and talking just about stuff. Uh, alrighty, so the first thing I want to talk about Gorilla Tag's update is just like how the community's acting. It's quite funny, but also really annoying to play Gorilla Tag now because of what's happening. Like, um, w like you know, some players are now quitting Gorilla Tag because of the update, and man, it's crazy because these people used to be big fans, and bringing into a community that pretty much nobody really kind of likes because of how they are, and bringing it to some toxic people that play every single day, that's probably one of the biggest mistakes Gorilla Tag has ever made. And yes, I feel like, yes, that kind of sounds homophobic, but I'm not, I swear. Because, first of all, I don't really hate the uh, community. I actually don't hate them at all. This is no hate to the community. Uh, the LGBT plus community, too. Um, I think I said that wrong. But... Um, I just want to say, like, the community re community right now, the train of the community right now is, like, off the rails, and it's breaking down very fast. What I mean by that is, Gorilla Tag's community right now is just gonna, like, it's breaking, and it's falling apart, like, crazy fast. And, uh, I really don't know if I, like, can play Gorilla Tag anymore without either hearing something homophobic or somebody being toxic or anything at this point. Like, I've actually taken a longer break than ever on Gorilla Tag because of that. And that's, like, one, that's, like, really annoying. But, like, I also want to say, they did this because some people suggested it, which they never do suggestions, so I guess that's something new. But they also did it because the some of the developers themselves are part of the LGBTQ plus something i don't remember it at this point they're part of it um but in my opinion that's like not great to bring it to some toxic little nine-year-olds and then give them the option of this stuff because you know i feel like the moderators should be more active now because of what's happening like i can't go into one city lobby or forest lobby or any lobby at all without hearing something that's homophobic or toxic or in my opinion people are blaming other people for the update some of the community is blaming some of the lgbtq plus mem uh, members of the girl tag community for this update and the crazy part is that girl tag talked with another community but not with their own community it's kind of funny to me that they did that and honestly Gorilla Tag devs may be the reason why the game just honestly dies. And I know that sounds like kind of upsetting, but you gotta realize they've been ignoring the Gorilla Tag community for like the longest time now. Honestly, it's kind of annoying. But that's not the only thing why I hate this update so much. They're bringing it to little kids. Now, you could say, well, maybe you shouldn't buy headsets for your little kid at such a young age. And you can blame the parents for it. Well, if that's really how you want to do it, and you may be sa you may be saying that, but I don't think you're 18 and over if you're saying that. And it's not really up to your decision what they get to do with their kid. So yeah, but maybe when you grow up and you have your own kids, if you do have kids, just don't buy them a headset at a young age. You can do that yourself. You don't have to boss other people around and how and tell them how to do parenting but with that honestly just that gorilla tag is rated for everyone so little kids too but the thing is with that it's just annoying 
to me that they're bringing this to little kids and even the moderators electronic and some other people have noticed this and a lot of people are hating on your type for bringing it to little kids i feel like a lot of people are going to be traumatized especially kids from this because it's just annoying and they're probably already toxic enough and bringing some a community which gets a lot of hate and toxicity to all the time to a toxic a toxicity players you've just made like the biggest mistake right there that is the biggest mistake possible gorilla tag and if they are listening please do not like hate on me but i am technically telling the truth right now sort of I don't have much evidence of people being toxic, but I don't really record public lobbies. But I can tell you, if you go into one and just say something about the update, you will get a lot of hate on just for your opinion or your religion or um, your beliefs of this update. You'll get a lot of hate. Tons of hate. Um, in the end, though, it just doesn't sound right to me. Thank you guys for watching. This was probably one of my shorter videos. Uh, please go check out my unboxing video where I got the Girl Type plush. And it was really cool and it was really impressive that I've been waiting for this many months just for something small. But uh, yeah, um, please subscribe. My goal is to reach 1k before the end of 2024. We're really close. And uh, bye bye guys.